all right youtube in this video what we are going to see is how to create dynamic menu and dynamic content as you can see on the screen there is a menu bar which says about us and home when i click on the links you can see the content changes dynamically if i click on home the content changes to content about home if i click on about us it says dynamic content from db up for about us fine these two values are coming from the database i'll show you the database table and uh, the database don't worry about the source code you'll get the description you'll get the source code in the description along with the database backup fine now to give you the overview what happens is when i click on this menu when i click on this link this link has an id this link id is passed to a page called fetch.php and in the fetch.php what happens is it runs a select query it displays all the values of the id passed if suppose i pass the id 1 to the fetch.php it will display the value of id 1 so this is the value for id 1 if you click on this this would be the id of value 2 so the fetch.php again sends back the result to the index page fine as i have as as i said we have two pages the first one is index and second one is fetch we are going to pass this with the help of ajax so in this video we are going to use html css javascript not javascript it's the advanced version jquery with php and mysql let me show you the database we have a database called dynamic pages inside the dynamic pages we have a table called pages inside the pages we have three column pages is a table we have three column which is id name and content you can see this is the the first one has the id 1 the second one has the id 2 these are the primary key and uh, the page name and the page content are displayed here fine let me start from the plain html this is what the plain html looks like we are going to convert it through dynamic the first thing is we need to change the menu to be dynamic for that what we'll do is we'll simply fetch all the details from the table pages and display it i'll explain you the code what should happen is before before fetching data we would we need to give the credential to the php so i have passed my credential in the head section you can see i have passed my credential and i have uh, passed the query as well select all from pages i need only two things the first one is id and the second one is name and i have retrieved from the database and displayed in the li and the anchor tag inside it the li has the id and uh, the anchor tag has the name fine now at present what happens is the menu becomes dynamic my pc is a little slow we'll wait yeah if we refresh this page the home and about us comes up now this is dynamic so what ha what i need to do is when i click on the link it need to pass data to fetch.php for that i'll write a script with ajax what it will do is when i click on a link which is li i need to pass the id to the fetch.php through ajax and of course the content would be displayed in the span id page details and uh, we have passed it to a function the reason for passing it to a function is when the page loads i want the content of home to be displayed that's why i have passed id 1 so when i when the id 1 is passed the id 1 is passed through the ajax and 
in the app you can see I have passed it as the post method through the Ajax and uh, I have passed it to the query for where ID is the ID passed through Ajax and the output would be the HTML the first one is head H heading and the second one is paragraph the heading contains the name and the paragraph contains the content now these two values are displayed in the div called page details with ID page details this can be span or this can be div at present I have maintained it as span if you want you can do it as div fine so on success the data is catched or retrieved from the parameter of function and it is passed through the HTML so our HTML gets converted to get gets converted as HTML on the div on the span tag with ID page details fine so this was a function this function should get triggered once I click on the li once I click on the li what what should happen is it need to retrieve the ID and store it into a variable called page ID and the page ID is passed inside the functions parameter and that's how the flows work thank you so much for listening get the source code in the description we have created it with the help of PHP MySQL Ajax jQuery little bit of CSS and HTML